What is up guys, it is Wavis and welcome back to another video. Now right now, I still am on a pretty tight schedule right now. I'm trying to get videos out to you guys, but I hope you guys do understand. So last week's competition, I ended up getting third place in the league again without even trying to get third place in the league. But the game, I guess me playing was just good enough to get third place in the Ruby League. Now I'm in the whatever diamond league oh by the way i'm level 100 now yeah party confet whatever okay but today we're playing in 10 million but we're not just going to be playing in 10 million we're going to try to win it with the beginner queue now this is almost impossible <laughs> no it's not impossible okay but if i don't get the break usually yeah i get the break now now the thing is i need to go all the way down because i am so professional and forgot about equipping the beginner queue beforehand. There it is. And I think I'm about to run out of time over the break too. No, I am still good. So the best break for the beginner queue I hear is like this. And then you add tops. I think this is the best uh, golden break for the beginner queue at least. It's just the best break that the beginner queue can do at all. But I don't know if you guys can test that or something. But it's the one that I'm going to use because I, I saw it on Reek and Shark's video. So, and Reek and Shark knows how to rock a broomstick. So, a broomstick. <laughs> oh, dude, no! Dude, okay, you feel like... You feel like you feel like the stages of grief in that five seconds right there. The ball, you're so happy because you're like, dude, that's about to go in. And then it's like slaps you in the face like, boy, no, that ain't going to go in. And then you pop the white ball. So it's like a roller coaster of emotions in a matter of a few seconds. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. This, But this background noise is really annoying me. I don't know if you guys can hear it. And if you guys can't hear it, then I must be sounding really stupid right now. So I'm just probably should stop talking. But still, hopefully... Holy crap, please, yes. It's now, <laughs> okay, you guys know that point where you're like, dude, please let me have the ball. And then you think, actually, do I want the ball? Am I in a good situation for the ball? And then sometimes you realize, yeah, I do want the ball right now. But I do not know what I can do here because it looks like to me, okay, I think what I can do is I can try to snoop. I am not good with these shots, please. That is actually pretty good for me, I think, because I don't think he can... Uh, hit that ball It doesn't can he I didn't see I think he can hit that. Yes, he can hit that. Oh, come on Have, Why do you why does opponents get so lucky in this challenge? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh Don't don't you did okay? I thought that was gonna hit the nine ball in too and I was about to we lost this match now at this moment Okay, people don't want me to leave games, right? At this moment, I would leave the game. But I am going to stay so that people are not yelling at me and screaming at me, Wait this! You just started the game! I will stay in the game, okay? But I can tell you right now, this game is lost and I'm gonna waste five seconds on my... You know what? Maybe... Maybe I was wrong. That's going in. I don't know how, but that is going in a pocket. I can call it right now. Actually, it didn't. Would it still go? Oh crap, guys! I think we might mend this first. No, I'm not saying that because with the Q swap challenge, I said those exact words, and you guys know what happened. And then with that one dude who, yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. But I don't know how much backspin to add. That stunned the ball. I was expecting it to go back. This is how bad I am with the beginner Q, guys. But it looks like this is a W. Please don't do. Okay. I'm good, I'm good. I am serious, you guys think I'm joking. You think you guys think I'm over-exaggerating. Maybe to you I'm over-exaggerating, but if you were to see my facial, my facial, whatever it is, my facial expressions right now, you would think I, sh I was crazy. I should be in a mental asylum or some stuff like that. It looks like we want, I really want to play a bank shot on this because, hold, wait, dude, I don't trust that. I really don't trust that. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that I trust it. Please don't go. Thank you. There you guys have it. First try. This isn't this is literally first take, first try on everything. Now I just won. So there you guys have it. The beginner queue and 10 million nine ball right there. The challenge done. First try. And there's this new challenge that I've been trying to uh, uh, accomplish, and it's basically we go through all the tables in nine ball like all of these tables, everything, and you can only lose once. Now, I've done it where I've lost twice, but once is somehow impossible or something like that. But I mean, I'm pretty sure it can be done if you're not a noob like I am, but for me, 
at least it's impossible. I tried for hours upon hours. Okay, I'm I'm over exaggerating. But honestly, I probably did try about like 10 times. In all honesty, I'm not gonna say hours upon hours. And I don't know how to describe that feeling to you guys where you've already lost one game already and you're about to lose the other one, which therefore makes you fail the challenge and the amount of like hatred you feel for that person. And in that split second, that split second of anger with that person for winning that game and making you lose the challenge, you would not, for just for that split second, you would not care if they were to die in a horrible accident. I'm not gonna say that because people would be like, what the heck? No, I don't know that. I'm so okay. Just forget I said anything if you guys don't know that feeling, okay? But then it, but then it goes away and then you, you remember that it's just a game. But then you also remember that it's not just a game. So then you get that feeling back and then you remember it for the next 40 years of your life. I don't know if that's just me, but I'm hoping it's someone else too. I am so trash. Guys, I cannot do it. I'm sorry, I cannot do it. I've been using high aim cues, high powered cues for the past months, guys. I do not know. I don't play no guidelines. I don't play no guidelines. I haven't played no guidelines in so long. I do not, wait, did he miss? Oh crap, he missed. Well, anyway, but any still, I do not know the guideline. If I can't see a big guideline, I don't know if it's going or not. Like, I can't look at that little, like, stub guideline and see, like, oh, that's gonna go in or not because I'm just so used to the big guy. See, like, stuff like this. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. I'm pretty good at this when I'm not commentating, but while I'm commentating, this is a huge problem for me, okay? I know some of you don't understand. Like, oh my god, did you guys see that? A lot of you <laughs> use this cue and. Did you guys see that? Wait, something still went in? Something still went in. Oh crap, that's not gonna go in. That's not enough power. I need to trick shot it though. Uh, that's good. Oh my god. Oh dude, I should just stop the recording right now. I'm making myself look so bad. A lot of people say I'm bad at the game and the truth is yes, I am not the best at the game. I have never claimed to be the best or anything like that, but I am not horrible at the game. But when you give me a guideline that looks like a sphere, a flat circle, I can't function. It's, I don't know if it's just me. I'm not used to it. Like I used to have those, you know, pinheads, pinhead aims and all that stuff. And I would, and I would wreck them, you know, I would be no problem with them. But once you, you guys don't understand those of you who use low aim and low powered cues, you guys don't understand. Once you go big, you never go back. No gay reference, just saying. Okay, so we lost this game, but we won a 10 million with a beginner. So I'm still pretty cool with losing this game. There's no problem with that. We'll just watch him as he hits in the last few balls here and to our demise. Now, a lot of you have been asking, when is that Road to 100 million series or Road to 1 million series? And I kind of like, it makes it seems like I just mentioned it as kind of a tease or something like that and then just kind of like pushed it off like kind of used it as a way to get you to like the video like like the video and we will have a road to 100 million and then i never do the road to 100 million and people are like i feel robbed i feel forsaken it's nothing like that at all i was actually looking over it thinking like okay how should this series go and i decided that it would be best for me if we were to start the series after 10,000 subscribers, if we ever hit 10,000 subscribers, the series should start. And if we never hit it, then I don't know, the series might never start, you know what I mean? But 10,000 subscribers just seemed like a pretty good number to me. And I was kind of thinking like it would be like a 10,000 subscriber special to start the, you know, road to 100 million instead of just like throwing it out like randomly into the air. Like, whoa, where'd this come from? You haven't talked about it for two months. Why Why is it here now with no, with no explanation? Yeah, so I just thought that that would be kind of a nice little gesture. I ran out of time because my big, oh my dude, wave is, calm down, it's just 10,000 Dude, I swear in the heat of the moment, I just go crazy. I just blank and then just start throwing crap. 10,000 coins, what do I have? I have freaking 650, did I just say? Wait, yeah, yeah, 652 million. What am I talking about? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I want it to kind of be off, right? Dude, the thing that sucks about this cute is it has absolutely no spin, and it makes me... 
please tell me that's going in. If, I, if it's not going, okay, it is going in. <laughs> I don't know anymore after missing those straightforward shots with the with the little nub at the end of the queue. Reek and Shark, please teach me your ways of the beginner queue, I swear. By the way, if you guys don't know who Reek and Shark is, go ahead and check him out. He's, he's, a, he's a really funny guy. He just does commentaries. Yeah, whatever. Reek and Shark, the broomstick has forsaken me. How is it so good with you? Okay, so I could go for it, all the marbles right now, or I could play it safe. And just like pot the black ball and the you know what i feel like oh now i feel like what the heck you know what i feel like i feel like i haven't proved myself with the broomstick with the beginner cue i feel like i need to prove myself right here and do a double dip or pot the nine ball so i feel like i should go for it please let me prove myself i'll prove what dude no i swear i looked at it What? Okay, I need to stop shouting in the mic. A lot of you hate that. I'm sorry, I just get, I don't even know. So, it looks like what we can do here is just, okay, I, again, I'm not used to the spew, so I think I should add that much backspin. Am I correct? No, I was not correct. I'm stupid. But moral of the story, we did complete the challenge and we didn't just complete it in any room, we completed it in nine ball, 10 million. So challenge is successful. That is another one for the books. But basically I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And for those of you who think that like, I'm too loud, I'm annoying and want me to stop screaming, really, I that's just how I am. That's how I film my videos. I don't over exaggerate on purpose. It really is just me and what's going on in my head and I can't change that. So if you guys do not like that or want it to change, I'm sorry. It's never going to change. I just, uh, but for those of you awesome, cool kid, table sitters, popular cheerleader, cheer football players, people who are awesome, who watch my videos and actually do like them. The road for 100 million should be coming at 10K subscribers for all of you. So stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you did leave a like on the video, go ahead and head over to Miniclip headquarters and ask them, how is this little nub acceptable? Then grab a bag and shove it up. And I will see you guys later, probably tomorrow. I'm Wavis and I'm out. Praise the Lord, everybody. Listen, I just got out the shower. Uh, I just put on my shorts. That's it. I ain't got no shirt on, but yeah, I know you can't see it anyway. But listen, I was hungry when I woke up. So I took me a quick shower when I got in here and I made me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut butter. Oh my God. This jelly. Oh,